Over the last century, humans have made immeasurable technological advancements, but perhaps one of the most impressive is with rocket technology. We have gone from rockets that had less powerful computers than a modern smartphone, to rockets that can land themselves standing upright. As the technology has advanced, so has the size and power of these rockets, leading to some seriously impressive vehicles. From the Saturn V to the Falcon Heavy, here are the five most powerful rockets ever launched. The Saturn V rocket is arguably the most iconic rocket ever launched in the history of space exploration. It was the rocket that was used for the Apollo missions and the only rocket to ever take a man past Earth's orbit. Although 15 vehicles were actually built, only 13 of them were flown. The others were used for ground testing. The Saturn V was retired in 1973, after it was used to launch Skylab, America's first space station. Even though the Saturn V has been retired for more than 40 years, it still holds the title as one of the most powerful rockets. The thrust generated from the Saturn V was 7.891 million pounds of force. Even today, there have been few rockets able to generate as much thrust, but that is an understandable fact given the sheer size of the Saturn V rocket, which stands at over 363 feet in height. Additionally, the Saturn V was a rocket that needed to blast far past low Earth orbit. These rockets took humans to and around the moon. They also hauled large vehicles that the astronauts used to get around on the moon. While the Saturn V currently holds the record for most thrust generated and the largest rocket by length, NASA and independent companies like SpaceX have plans for larger and more powerful rockets including a super-heavy rocket named Starship that is being developed by SpaceX to possibly take humans to Mars. The rocket would tower to 387 feet tall and be able to carry a payload of more than 220,000 pounds. But it is still in development with plans to conduct tests in late 2020 to early 2021. Coming in hot, we have the Falcon Heavy. As far as rockets that are still operational, this is by far the most powerful. The three Falcon 9 engines generate more than 5 million pounds of thrust and have the ability to lift nearly 64 metric tons or 141,000 pounds into orbit. This is more than double the next closest operational rocket, which is the Delta IV Heavy. To put this into perspective, the thrust is equal to nearly 18 747 aircraft. The Falcon Heavy is an incredible technological achievement, as well as being one of the first space vehicles developed by a private company to pursue commercial space flights. The design of the rocket includes the use of two reusable side boosters for lift, which eventually detach, fall back to Earth, and land standing upright. On February 6, 2018, after many successful tests, SpaceX launched its first Falcon Heavy rocket from Cape Canaveral. On board was the personal Tesla Roadster of company owner Elon Musk. While the launch itself was considered a success, not everything went according to plan. After liftoff, the three boosters were supposed to land safely on drone ships in the ocean. Two of the boosters landed as planned but one booster had engine problems and didn't fully ignite. This caused it to hit the water at over 300 miles per hour, totally destroying it. Regardless, the flight was a huge success and a pivotal point in the future of space travel. It is impossible to acknowledge rockets that launch into space without acknowledging Russia. Remember, it wasn't the United States who put the first person into space. During the later years of the Cold War, the Soviet Union continued to expand its space program. In 1976, the Soviet Union discontinued an unsuccessful rocket type called the N-1 rocket. 
However, they took the existing infrastructure and expanded on it to build the rocket Energia. The Energia rocket was designed to launch a Soviet reusable shuttle. It had an absolutely massive frame with a diameter of 58 feet, but stood only 192.80 feet in height, which was not very tall compared to other super heavy lift launch vehicles. Weighing in at 2,650 tons, it required an incredible amount of thrust to get into low Earth orbit. The launch vehicle itself only made two flights before being retired. The first flight, named the Energy Apollius, was a test launch in 1987. The goal was to deliver a payload into orbit. However, there was an error in its altitude control, causing the orbital insertion motor to fail. The Polyus re-entered the atmosphere over the Pacific. The second flight was in 1988 with a similar goal, to put a payload into orbit. This time, everything worked and the mission was a success. Although the Polyus program was discontinued after the second flight, in 2016, Russia started making efforts to revive the program. However, to date, no tests have been done. The Space Shuttle has become the thing that is synonymous with the American space program. Operating from 1981 to 2011, the Space Shuttle is the product of a joint venture between NASA and the US Air Force to develop a reusable spacecraft. Once put into use, it was the first spacecraft of its kind. Not only was the shuttle able to be reused, it was cleared for a period of 10 years or 100 launches. Later on, those numbers were extended as it was found that the shuttle engineering withstood the forces of space way better than expected. In terms of size, the Space Shuttle is the smallest rocket on this list, standing at just over 184 feet. But its real power is found in the two solid rocket boosters that help to propel the shuttle into orbit. These booster rockets produce 2.8 million pounds of force, each. When the launch is initiated, the two boosters, fed by the huge fuel tank, burn for 124 seconds. Once detached, they were recovered for future use. The next stage was a rocket burn from the shuttle itself, burning for 480 seconds, at which point the fuel tank was released to be burned up in the atmosphere. In the 30-year lifespan of the Space Shuttle program, NASA conducted 135 Space Shuttle flights with five fully operational shuttles built – Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavour. Of these shuttles, two were lost in accidents. The Challenger accident in 1986 exploded during launch when a seal in one of the solid rocket boosters failed 73 seconds into the flight. The Columbia accident happened in 2003 during re-entry when the heat shield failed and the shuttle disintegrated. Each accident claimed the lives of all seven of their crew members. In spite of the dangers and the accidents, the shuttle program was considered a massive success. Standing tall at 236 feet, we have the Delta IV Heavy the world's second highest capacity rocket in operation behind SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. Originally launched in January of 2004, it's primarily used by the US military to send large national security satellites into space. However, other ideas for this rocket were to transport larger payloads to the moon or smaller payloads to Mars. The three engines that power the rocket at 2.1 million pounds of thrust rival those of the Falcon Heavy. However, it falls short in the payload capacity, which only allows a maximum of 63,400 pounds, a little over half of the capacity of the Falcon. The Delta IV is slated to be the main competitor to the Falcon Heavy as it is constantly being tested on and improved by different agencies and companies. But it does have launch history under its belt, unlike its much younger competitor. Smaller scale launches included a number of visual and electronic reconnaissance satellites between 2007 and 2013. But in December of 2014, the Delta IV was used to launch the test flight of the Orion spacecraft, a class of partially reusable space capsules that are intended to be used in NASA's human spaceflight programs. 
A new age of space exploration and even commercialization is upon us. Billionaire businessmen like Elon Musk have aspirations to bring internet to the entire world and offer civilian travel into space. Government entities like the Russian or American militaries aim to keep a watchful eye on its adversaries. And, of course, everyone has the goals of either going back to the moon or being the first to travel to Mars. Whatever the purpose is, it is clearer now than ever before that these goals are definitely within reach. Be sure to click the link on screen to check out 5 rocket launches that went horribly wrong. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.